And thank you very much. It's good to be with you coming to you from Meetings Africa at the Santon Convention Center. This really is a highlight when it comes to South African tourism. And this is the side of tourism that really brings in the money. I mean, when you think about uh, hosting a conference, having a meeting in a country, and specifically when it comes to something like South Africa, this has become more and more of a popular destination. And it is absolutely fantastic for the country. I'm not going to waste too much time in doing an intro for you into this because I'm standing right next to the minister who can do all of that for us and it's a great pleasure to welcome him once again on to Morning Live, uh, Minister Derek Hanekom. Great to have you. Welcome to the program. Morning, Leanne. And once again, you're looking absolutely stunning. Thank you. Looking more like a tourist than an interviewer. But. Well, I figured I'd go the tourist vibe. I'd, I'd bring out the African roots today. And, and this is what we're doing here today because, I mean, you're trying to attract more and more people. Meetings Africa, what are we talking? We've been around, how long has it been going for about now? 2013 or even long? No, much longer. Well, it's, it's been going for 14 years yeah, and 14 every years. year it's just been getting better and better and bigger. More exhibitors, more buyers. And so this is the biggest it's ever been by quite a long way, actually. Yeah. I mean, this is just not only attracting South African exhibitors and everything they've got to do with it, whether it be convention centers, hotels, you name it. It's also got some people coming up from our, from our African countries as well exhibiting. Also, uh, more people from uh, across the African continent, more exhibitors here than we've ever had before. 15 African countries are represented here. Uh, with about 88 exhibitors, just products, you know, conference centers from different African countries, ranging from Ethiopia to Nigeria, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, uh, Namibia. So, uh, I mean, Africa is well represented. This is the premium African business event show, if you like. So this is where African product owners and African countries do their best, best business when it comes to promoting, you know, the conference industries and the events that they have in their countries. Yeah. When we talk tourist numbers, um, I, I, I only have the 2017 tourist numbers, 10.29 million foreign tourists who stayed overnight here in South Africa. In terms of the, the latest figures, how are we looking? Well, uh, Leanne, we've just got the 2018 figures. There's a slight increase in the tourist, tourist numbers or the tourist arrivals, international arrivals. A little bit of a decline in the overseas arrivals. The Cape Town drought and the water shortage played a very significant role. So many, many people, especially from our biggest source markets, UK, Netherlands, France, cancelled their trips because, you know, things were a bit uncertain at the time. It'll, it'll recover. Uh, from the rest of the African continent, good, good growth. So the to in total, the international arrivals grew, but not as much as they should have grown. Uh, 2019 promises to be a very good year. Yeah. Well, we hope so because, I mean, you know, when we talk about tourism and we, we almost feel like stuck records because we say it every single year and all the time, this is a huge employer. And whether or not, it, well, in, whether or not it's in any industry, I mean, this can create so many jobs that have a ricochet on people's lives. It really does. Even with the knowing that we can do a lot better, and we, we, as we go along, we will do a lot better. But currently... If you take the direct and indirect jobs, because there's a very extensive value chain in tourism, you know, from the car hire companies to the retailers and to the, all of the service providers, we're looking at one and a half million people employed in the industry, which is very big. This uh, events industry alone, we estimate, creates about 250,000 jobs. So, I mean, it's, it's very big. We had eight hundred in 2017, we had 800,000 delegates in total come to South Africa to attend some or other event or exhibition or conference. That's, that's huge. Uh, it's a, it's, I should also say, I mean, the revenue generated from conferencing and events, we had 71 billion rand in revenue generated, which, which translated into about 115 billion dollar uh, rand contribution to GDP. It's, it's big. I think one of the big things, to, uh, Leanne, that we need to appreciate, that apart from the actual numbers of people who come here, there's a very high return visitor rate. So people come here for an event or for a conference, they do leisure tourism, they fall in love with the country. 2017, 70% of the buyers who came here, it was their first time visit to South Africa. Yeah. Delegates come back, they come back with their families. Very high return visitor rate we have because we have so much to offer and they discover it very often for the first time because they're here for a conference. Which is incredible because that's, that's what you want. You want people to have had such a brilliant yeah. time, have been blown off their feet to say, right, I'm coming here for my holiday. In terms of South Africa, which is the most popular destination when it comes to meetings and conferences? 
Well, you know, I'll probably be castigated by all of the other cities, but Cape Town remains the most popular destination for, you know, the hosting of conferences or choice to have conferences in Cape Town. Cape Town is doing really well, but Johannesburg is also doing fabulously well, as is Durban. But the good news for us, because we like to have a geographical spread around the country, even at this uh, meetings event, Meetings Africa here, we've got 15 smaller businesses represented here that are scattered all over South Africa who are offering really good facilities. So what we're seeing now is discovery, dis people discovering, buyers discovering conference centers that just suit the particular need of the group that they're buying it for all over the country. So it's moving away from just the three big centers, you know, Dur Durban, Johannesburg, Cape Town, and the kind of distribution is happening. People are discovering the, the, the out of the way places, if you like, and, and what they have to offer. By the way, even the Kruger National Park, it's uh, in a few months from now, it will have completed the building of its first hotel at Skukuza, which will offer conference facilities right in the Kruger National Park. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's a, I know it's, it always opens up a debate for a lot of people, but at the end of the day, that's what a lot of tourists want and a lot of meetings people want because those are the facilities that you do need. This year, have you got predictions for this year? How are you thinking that South Africa will do? In tourism? Yeah. I, I'm predicting a very good year. And uh, I think, you know, because the, what, what you have when people cancel their visits uh, takes a bit of time, as, as they did during the drought. Recovery takes a bit of time. As we make progress in attending to the visa issues, it also takes a bit of time before it filters through and before you get the results. 2019, we are very confident, will be a significantly better year. I'm not going to give you percentages and numbers, but we have a longer-term forecast, we believe, and the President announced it during his State of the Nation address, that by 2030 we can, we can uh, reach the 21 million mark, which means consistent growth over the next few years, over the next number of years. And we have to start now. 2019, of course, is, is going to be the big test here. But I think, I think uh, you know, giving, giving it time, remember that we'll be introducing things like e-visas in the course of this year. Yeah. So, you know, that takes its effect and has its uh, beneficial impact on tourism in 2020, really. But so what, we, what we're looking at now is not that we haven't been growing, we have, but a significantly improved growth path for tourism over the next few years. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much for talking to us. And, and I hope this is a great success, as it always is. Meetings Africa is where we're broadcasting from this morning. We thank the Minister of Tourism, uh, Derek Hanukom, for being our first guest here on the program. Just gone 6.30 on the program. Uh, 6.30, 7.30. I'm not used to being uh, only crossing to you at this time. I'm, I'm already an hour behind everything, but you best start running if you think it is. Let's get those headlines. Simpiwe, good morning to you.